Where's that four points compressor's playing up? Well, let's close you then, mate. Probably one of your mates have nicked it to blow up a massive inflatable willy. Found <laughs> it, so you can shelve that insecurity, Kev. Actually, it's all going to be handy. Have you made a decision on squeezing an extra small one in? No, he's making funny bits and all. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Alina. Yeah, I know. Uh, it... It's numbers. Yeah, yeah, I said as much, didn't I? It's worth asking, though, innit? I promise that I would. Yeah, well, if you don't ask, you don't get. Mm. I have to think of another way to break the ice with everyone before the wedding. Look, mate, uh, about your plus one. See, I don't want people being funny with you, you know what I mean? But the hand do. Get it, no problem. doing on the wedding planning front, just let me know, because I don't want to be twiddling my thumbs. They were the happiest days of my life, you know, my wedding days. I am never, ever, ever doing this again. That is so romantic. Nope, it's the stress, thanks to him. What, Kevin? Tyrone. Guess who he's having as his plus one? Not that he had a plus one, him and Fizz were invited. You just don't automatically get a roll over, do you? Go on, then, who's he bringing? Not Alina, surely not. What about poor Fizz? Exactly. Well, the selfish. You're not allowing that, surely. <sighs> well, Kevin was meant to tell him no, but he just stood there. He stood there like knitted lad. Yeah, well, Kevin needs clear instructions, or else he'll just do whatever's easiest. Do you want me to tell him? I'll tell him. Oh, make sure you do. Because I'm not just the celebrant. I'm... It doesn't make me neutral. I'm Team Fizz. And this will ruin her day. If it ruins her day, it's going to ruin my day and all. Who? Who? George Fleming Clooney. Sorry, just going to take that knackered old car for a test drive, see if we can get it through its MOT again. Really? You think he'd just scrap it and get himself a newer model? Uh, very funny. Our wedding has gone from a good old shindig to worrying about whose shins will get a dig. Alina can't be there. Look, I'm sure he will realise before the day. Y you're like one of them, um... Robot vacuum thing is that just like turn around and wander off when they eat somewhere hard. Tyrone needs telling. I can't tell me best man who we can and can't bring to the wedding. Yes, you can. It was him and Fizz, and now it's him and Fizz separate. No add ons, no plus ones. You tell him or I will, and that, <laughs> that won't be pretty. I was thinking about what you were saying this morning about the seating plan. Yeah, I've been thinking about that and all. And look, if you want me and Alina to sit out of the way after the speeches and everything... Well, that's the thing, isn't it? I think we sit further away because of how upset some folk will be. It's not good, is it? No, you're right. We'll just front it out. Cheers, mate. No, I... When did you turn into such a selfish man? You are. You didn't think that now was the time to choose your fiancé over your mate? Look, give me two minutes. To do what? Do you know, I don't know why I'm surprised. Kevin knows all about running off with a younger woman and beggar the consequences. Whoa, 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 Sal. Don't be slagging the fiancé off. It's Tyrone's bird. That's the issue. Was you going to tell me not to bring her? No, I... It's with it being so soon after everything, you know, you and Fizz and that. <gasps> well, I didn't realise my plus one came with terms and conditions. There is no plus one. I bet. Right, well, I'll make this dead easy for you, then. Stuff your wedding. I'll resign as your best man. If you can't accept that I'm with Alina, I'm not coming. <laughs> 